thanks so much for on this video. My name is Mr. 4K. Obviously, as most of you know, we got a lot of gameplay from Game Informer that shows us a lot of new combat styles and new combat mechanics for the upcoming God of War Ragnarok. And it does seem like Santa Monica is really differing the combat from the previous game and even changing some aesthetics of the game from the previous one and just making it look a bit better in this game so what we're going to be doing is going over all of the new kind of changes all of the new combat moves and see what is different and see what is similar so starting off with the very first video we got from game informer obviously here the hud is obviously different we can see that there it's obviously a different color it's i'll show you a comparison from the first game to this game you can see a lot of differences between them but straight off the bat i just want to talk about this move right here he throws him off with the shield and jumps down and slams with the axe now if i recall that was never an actual move in the last game and i'm really liking this move i can't wait to use it a lot and this does seem like it is in the beginning of the game especially because these are level one enemies and i can't wait to go against them i'm gonna try to make more lore videos or in-depth videos about these creatures that we are fighting right now and see what i can get out of them because this obviously does look like svartalheim or even pre before uh, ragnarok but i'm not entirely sure and then we get this move that i'm pretty sure everyone went crazy about with the blades of chaos we can now climb walls which is something i'm pretty sure everyone's wanted to do for quite a while now especially with the hard traversing in the game because in the previous game it wasn't so simple getting around climbing things you'd usually have to do a puzzle or two just to get up somewhere for example when we're first going up the mountain to f to uh, throw phase ashes we actually run into a problem where we have to untie this elevator and it takes quite a while so it could be uh, very very like easier in this game because now we can just climb with the blades of chaos but i'm pretty sure at some points of the game we won't be able to do that because it might just get a bit too easy moving on we see this really cool attack with the shield which is something i never thought i'd see with the shield because last game the shield was mainly used just for obviously parrying the enemies but this game it does seem like they're going full effect with the shield and it could be similar to the blades of chaos and the axe where we actually get some maybe ruins on this thing and actually get some good upgrades on it because in the last game like i mentioned we mainly just use the shield for parrying so it could be very different with this game where we actually need the shield for a lot of things maybe we can actually even throw the shield in this game we'll see we'll see because the game is coming out in like a month and a bit so a lot of hype to go over with this game but yeah that shield attack is something that is also very cool it does seem like the axe has a lot of its basic moves from the last game atreus is still jumping on enemies and like over here like i mentioned is the shields mainly used for pairing in the last game the blades of chaos also seem like they do the same thing and this finisher is as bloody as ever and this first piece of gameplay just gets me hyped and i can't wait to actually play the game we see more runic attacks with the axe that I'm, we have seen in the other game if you've actually maxed out the axe but it seems like in this game you won't need to max it out and actually get these abilities quite early in the beginning of the game which is something i think is actually a good idea and a good play by santa monica and that was a really good gameplay we got a lot of new footage for the blades of chaos and what it is going to be doing the leviathan axe seems to be very similar like it was in the first god of war game and it also seems like the shield is going to be a new weapon that we are going to be using a lot and i hope we can throw it and actually use it for a lot more things just in case maybe 
maybe our weapons get taken away or something because it does seem like in a bit of the trailer uh, the Kratos does just drop all of his weapons like we remember from the story trailer there's also one thing I want to go over is this new footage f for the Spartan Rage and a lot of other uh, new mechanics so obviously the game is just stunning it is absolutely beautiful this is the PS5 at its full capacity and Again, the game just looks beautiful in Svartalheim, but with the Spartan Rage, it also is different controls. So if you look on the bottom right, you can see that we are actually, instead of clicking L3 and R3 like in the last game, you actually have to swipe down on the D-pad this time. It is obviously going to be different controls. I... I'm like I was pretty certain that this they weren't gonna be the same controls from the last game but now I'm 100% sure as they have changed the Spartan Rage to the D-pad and that is most likely because of the um, uh, uh, what's it called the feedback from the controller the haptic feedback and they are going to probably use the D-pad a lot because it also seems like we can do other things with the D-pad not only can we pull out the Spartan Range we can also pull out our shield, uh, shield like that and do that move that we just saw in the first clip but again I just have to mention that the game just visually just looks stunning. The reflections are beautiful. The 4K graphics are beautiful. Obviously, there are going to be two game modes where it's performance mode and fidelity mode. If I were you, I would go for, for fidelity mode just to feel the PS5's actual power. But it is your own preference. But how do you guys feel about these new combat moves that we're going to be seeing in God of War Ragnarok? Do you like it? Do you hate it somewhere around the middle? Anything and everything down comes below. As always, I'm Mr. 4K and take care.